less intimidating than being on stage up there. Hello. change up the script a little bit, make it our own, and I don't know, did it work? I think it kind of worked. But the teleprompter didn't go. I was actually making fun of Megan because she was memorizing her lines backstage. And I was like, Meg, we gotta have a teleprompter, what are you doing? We're done shooting for the season. We'll relax. And the teleprompter actually did not bring up her lines. It only brought up mine, so thank goodness she memorized it. Make it good, ladies and gentlemen, make it. <laughs> Drop the mic. Uh, I think just the, the fact that the characters, you know, while we are African American and Latino, it's, it's a blessing that our characters weren't written in any particular way. Um, that they're very colorless in that sense, but still they allow us to play those roles and um, saw just, you know, how special that could be. And, and I, I'm glad that I can, um, that we can be on a show where young kids can look up to us and feel like they can do anything and they can be inspired and they feel like, you know, anything is just, you just gotta work hard for it and keep believing and have faith. And that's been our experience here. And um, I don't know, I'm just really, really, really happy and blessed to be a part of something that um, would take a chance you know, to be different. Yeah, that was last Monday night. And uh, it was funny because all of a sudden we're live tweeting and I get a text from Megan saying, can you please tell everybody that I'm sorry but my Twitter page crashed? You know, and, and I mean, I think that just shows how much people are not only just loving the show, but loving Megan as a leading lady. You know, I, I feel like uh, she was more than ready for the opportunity and she's killed it. From day one, she walked in there with a bad back, shot the pilot, gave her 110% of everything she had, and she's carried it through on every single episode, and I'm really proud to be uh, starring opposite her. Think about the real emotion when you when you told her you can handle anything that you found out about her in the past, but then you find out some things that you really weren't ready for. What's that feel like? I'm gonna tell you, for me, I enjoy playing a well-rounded man. You know, we're always taught as men to hide the emotions, to not let people see you sweat, not let people see you break under pressure, you know, a man can't show feelings, you just gotta just go through it. And at the end of the day, as men, we still, we do have feelings. We do feel at times, you know, when we size up another dude, there may be times when we feel insecurity or jealousy, especially if, if you're vulnerable. And I think that's what shows that th these two characters are really, really in love because you only feel vulnerable when you care. Right. 
And and that's where you, you see weakness and, 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 and all those real human emotions come out and I enjoy that. I think that it's a well-rounded approach and and uh, Liz Helton, you know, our, our, our chief uh, uh, writer is, is, and creator of the show is, is really bringing those, those emotions to life. She's, she's doing every character service and it's an ensemble cast. We have a great cast and, and I can't see, I mean, everyone is, is, is well served. on the character and the opportunity. I mean, for this, the blessing in it for me was like, here is this incredible character that's so many different things. Like Laz was saying, a lot of it's on the page where, you know, she's vulnerable, but she's tough, but she's, you know, determined she'll go head first, but she also, you know, can't be broken down. And she has her kryptonite, she, you know, all these different things. And um, to be able to do action to be able to, to have this love triangle, to be able to um, just do all these different things all wrapped into one situation. For me, that, that's made the best experience, um, hands down, because I've learned so much. And even just being in New York and only really having our cast to rely on, um, even though we have family and friends, well, obviously my husband comes out with me, but it's, it's just, it's been an amazing experience and journey and process for me on this particular project, and, I, and I'm just thankful. You know, I love both. I love both. Um, I got bit by the TV bug last year uh, when, when I was doing a, another series. And, you know, I told myself, okay, I like TV. You know, because before that, I, I was like, film, 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 film. And I said, the one thing is, I'm not going to play another cop role. That's it. You know, I played enough cops. And when I read this, this script, I couldn't put it down. You know, and, and yeah, what he does, he is a federal agent, but everything else outshines just his job. You know, he's, there's so many other layers and things that are going on with this character that I, I, I knew I had to play that, that part. So, I, I love both, to be honest with you.